Utah Gun Exchange, the nation's patriot marketplace. Sam with UtahGunExchange.com here at SHOT Show 2018, and I am with Andrew, this time to review Kershaw Blades, newly released for 2018. Andrew, how you doing? Good, how are you, Sam? Very good. I understand we have 11 new blades that you're going to walk us through today. Is that right? Something like that. 11 or 12, yeah. Okay. Hey, the more the merrier. Sweet. Let's Fantastic. do it. Fantastic. Let's jump into it. All right. Let's go. So, first off, we have the fault line. So, you got to check this knife out. Opens on KBT, ball brain washers. We have 8CR 13 MOV steel on the blade with a black oxide finish. Um, this is a really great workhorse knife. You can see we've got glass filled nylon handles with a rubber uh, inlay in there. But it's not just an inlay, this handle is made in a two shot mold. So, we didn't just take this, this liner here and then glue it in. It's not, it's not like that. It's not like it's going to peel out. It's made in the same mold, which is just going to make it a lot more durable. Um, wow. Gives a really good grip on the knife and really, um, really enhances just the, the vibe and the feel of this knife as kind of like a you know rugged outdoor workhorse knife. Yeah, I was asking if it was named the grenade because when it's closed, it just has that grenade look to it. it yeah, it really it really does. It's just it's a it's a fun knife for sure. Um, opens on those KVT bearing washers, inset liner locker, liner lock, so it's super lightweight. So there there's that one. What's the price point going to be on that? Uh, price point on this, sorry, $39.99. $39.99 and it rides yep. on KVT. That's right. That's yep. amazing. Yep. Yes, indeed. Wow. All right, up next, this is one we worked on with Yin's Anso. This is the tan fraction. Last year we released the fraction and we took it and we changed the black G10 to uh, Coyote Tan, which I really like. It gives it that desert tactical feel. Um, again, inset liner lock, so it's really lightweight. We have those G10 handle scales. We have 8CR13 MOV blade, the black wash finish. Opens on KVT, so it snaps right on out. Uh, it's really great. Um, nice thing about this knife, super lightweight, so if you didn't wanted to take it with you to like the gym or you're wearing, you know, basketball shorts or running shorts, you know, it's really lightweight, so it's not gonna not gonna slow you down in the slightest. Um, one great thing about this with several of these, we take G10 and carbon fiber. This isn't just a sticker, this is real carbon fiber. And what we do is we have several layers of G10, and on top of that, we put the carbon fiber and then machine that away after it's been compressed. So it's a really solid way to construct that handle, which means that you know you get that awesome carbon fiber look, you get the G10, it's lightweight, looks good, and it's gonna work well. Very nice, great looking knife. Thanks. And what's the MSC RP on that? That's gonna be $49.99. 49, okay. That's right. Are All we right. moving up? the scale in terms of price range? Um, not necessarily. Okay. I'll, I don't know for sure. I know all the prices, but I, don't, I wouldn't, um, wouldn't right. say that necessarily. Okay. All right, so here we have another um, piece by Yin's Anso. Um, I really love, love this one because it really feels like a Yin's, a Yin's design. This is called The Method. And it opens on KBT ball brain washers. We have ACR 13 MOV blade uh, with that black wash finish. We have G10 handle scales on both sides, also an inset liner lock. This one is, again, super lightweight, and this comes in at $39.99 MSRP. Nice. You can also see in the backspacer, we have this included lanyard loop there, which is a very, like, it's a very iconic Yen's design element that fits the knife well, and just really, um, yeah, really works with that. We also, we have a single position clip, uh, pocket clip there, so, yeah. And so far, all these have been 8CR 13 yes. MOV, correct? Mm -hmm. yep. All right. Up next, we have a collaboration with RJ Martin. This is the fly through. Uh, it's a frame lock, opens on KVT ball bearing washers. We have, eight, again, 8CR 13 MOV blade black oxide finish on everything so it's really stealthy um, really excellent and one thing I really like about this you can see in the center we have that see-through pivot yes. we also use that on a ZT the 609 it's an iconic RJ element that we're bringing into this Kershaw design as well um, again something really neat that you can see there's this cutaway reveal and we've even designed the blade the blade tang so it kind of fits within that visually it's just a neat little you know design detail Very to nice. add some depth to the yes. to the knife it's got these nice chamfers on it again this whole knife this is supposed to feel like a really visual Really fast knife, like a speed form. It has kind of automotive inspiration behind that. The clip works on the front and the back. It's a deep carry clip, and you can see it's a frame lock. Opens on KVT ball bearing washers, and that comes in at $59.99. Very nice. Yep. Kind of looks like a stealth jet. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I love that one. It's really fun. This is a Rick Hinder collaboration that we've done. This is based off his custom called the Maximus. This one's called the Decimus. Uh, it comes in at, at $49.99. We have an 8CR13 MOV blade. You gotta check this out. We got a bayonet grind on here, which is kind of, it's kind of unexpected, but it fits the knife really well, and it gives it that aggressive, tactical kind of feel to the knife. Um, it's sharpened on one side, so you don't have to worry about cutting yourself when you're closing it. Opens with speed safe. Uh, we have, it's a frame lock with stonewashed handle scales. Over top of that, we have a glass-filled nylon over with a texture that's very similar to a lot of Rick's textures. So again, 
This knife feels um, very much like the other, like the ZT we did with Rick. This one definitely feels like a hinderer knife, uh, which is something that I really, really like about it. We've got a filler tab in the back and a pocket clip so that you can put the pocket clip on the front or the back. Yeah, so that's this one opens on SpeedSafe, um, and the MSRP on this is uh, $49.99. Very cool. All right, up next, collaboration with Dmitry Sinkovich. This knife is also super lightweight. It's an it's a inset liner lock. We've got G10 with that carbon fiber, similar to that tan fraction I showed you earlier. Also, these these pivots we didn't just use. This is supposed to be a pretty you know a pretty affordable knife, but we still used a somewhat interesting pivot. You know, not just a regular screw. Um, so keep that interesting. You know. Uh, we've got pocket clip on the back that works on the front as well as the back, lanyard loop included in the back spacer. Again, we have an 8CR 13 MOV blade on this knife uh, with satin satin grinds and uh, sanded flats. It has really fine jimping on there that I really like. It gives it a really good texture when you hold it. Uh, it's an excellent knife. opens on KVT ball bearing washers. This is also $49.99. All right. Um, this is the last of the ones that we've worked on and collaborated with other designers on. This is also Dmitry Sinkovich. This might be my favorite Kershaw we've done this year. Uh, gray PVD blade, 8CR 13 MOV. It's really simple. You have this just very simple and elegant dished out uh, pivot right there. It's mirrored on the back. It's a very symmetrical knife. You can see we have a recessed pocket clip in here. This was part of the knife the design that Dimitri gave us, it was super unique. I'd never seen anything like it before, so we wanted to bring it to this. Helps give it kind of a low profile. Um, just very unique and interesting to this knife. It's a frame lock, opens on KVT bearing washers. Uh, we have these G10 handle uh, overlays on the on the steel handle scales. And it's really nice because as you can kind of see when I turn it this way, there's a lot of meat in the middle. But yeah. It's been contoured so that it's really thinner and slim around the edges. So you get a good grip on it, but it doesn't feel blocky. Yeah, let me see that in the hand. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Another nice thing about that contour is it shows off the grain of the G10 really well. This knife is all about simple elegance, and I love that it has that KVT, uh, those bearing washers in there, because it doesn't just look elegant, but it really feels elegant when you open it. So this Very is nice. the Concierge collaboration with Dmitry Sinkovich, and it comes in at uh, $59.99. Yeah, as, as thick as that is through the center, it doesn't fill the hand, it doesn't feel bulky, it's just nice and streamlined. Good. No, I'm gl glad to hear you say that, Sam. Uh, it's always encouraging to get, you know, feedback. All right, so we're moving on. We've got the, you can just kind of look at all these real quick. We've got, this is the part of the Natrix family. So seven years ago, and for ZT, we made the 777, which was a big hit. Um, yeah, it was a great knife, did really well. Since then, we've made the 770 in ZT and the 7007 Natrix for Kershaw. So this year, since it's the seventh anniversary, we're bringing even more Natrixes to this family. So first off, we've got the Natrix XL. This is the big brother of the family. It's an 8CR 13 MOV blade three and three quarters inches blade. So it's the longest blade of the folders that we've got this year. Black oxide finish. We've got that pivot with the black oxide finish there as well. Um, as you commented earlier when you took a look at one of these knives, it's real, they're, some of these knives are really big, but they're lightweight because we use G10. And mm -hmm. the way we can get away with that, as you can see, we have a patented sub frame lock on the back. And what that does, this is steel. And so you get the structural integrity of a frame lock, but we can use lightweight and more interesting materials like G10 for the majority of the handle. So it's a really big knife, but it doesn't feel it doesn't feel super heavy. Yeah, that lock shape hand. is very interesting too. Yeah, well, thanks, man. Uh, opens on KVT ball bearing washers. The clip works on the front and the back, and that's a deep carry clip as well. MSRP on this is seventy nine ninety nine. What's the blade reach on that or blade length? Uh, the blade length on this is three point seven five inches. Okay. Longest one in this lineup. And material? Are we still eight CR? Yes, this is eight CR. Mm -hmm. So right here, we've got the black Natrix. So this is very similar to the 7007 Natrix. It's just, you know, all black, so super stealthy, kind of brings that, that black tactical look to it. Uh, again, 8CR blade, opens on KVT ball brain washers, G10 handle scales, and you can see we have that patented subframe lock there in the back. That gives it that in structural integrity while maintaining a lightweight feel. That's $64.99 MSRP. Something a little bit flashier. We've got that G10 carbon fiber combination again on these handle scales, which just give it, you know, gives it a kind of classy look. We have gray well, again, opens on KVT, has a subframe lock in the back. MSRP on that is $69.99 for the carbon fiber natrix. Nice. Now, this is the copper natrix. This is the baby brother in the family. Opens on KVT um, and has that subframe lock. But what's neat about this is obviously we've got car uh, copper handle scales on this knife. Because we have that, actual copper. This is actual copper. Wow. Yeah. Because of that sub frame lock, we're able to use something that's more malleable, like 
copper in the handle scales and still have a strong knife because of that steel subframe look. Something really cool about this knife as well, even though it's really small, we put D2 steel on the blade there. Most of these are 8CR, but this is D2 st steel, nice. which is excellent blade steel, really Incredible. good edge retention. Uh, so this is, comes in at 89.99, but you know it's great size, really small for everyday carry. It's small, but still fits in your hand really, really well. Copper and D2 for 89 dollars. That's the great value. It's it's awesome. So that's the that's the copper matrix. Is there anything mixed in with the copper? Was it straight? Not copper? to my knowledge. To my okay. knowledge, it's copper. Where's that made? It, this is an import, so it is made okay. in China. Yep. Now, on that note, we have a USA made Kershaw. Uh, this is the bare knuckle, the quad seven, still inspired by the triple seven, still part of that Natrix family. But in my opinion, this is the piece de resistance of this family. We have 14C 28 in blade steel, three and a half inch blade with a stonewash finish. We have black oxide hardware on there, a really interesting pivot. Uh, we have that awesome, that matte finish USA aluminum. It's great, it's super lightweight. Um, and even though it's a big knife, because it's so slim, it doesn't really feel like a, like a huge knife. Because we have that steel sub frame lock, in the back we can use aluminum handle scales, and they just look excellent, it feels great, um, really lightweight. Opens on KVT bearing washers, clip works on both sides, and again, it's made in the USA, so you can take a look. I really love this backspacer too. It's really slim, and it just it fits really well in the spine of the knife there. Yeah, it looks incredible. The Quad 7 Atrix, that comes in at about $110 MSRP. Um, yeah, it's a USA made knife, awesome. Can you the action on that? Yeah, please do, take a look at it. Also want to highlight the good old Phantom flag, indicating mm -hmm. made in the good old US of A. That's right. Quad 7. That's extra lock. Triple 7 and then some. Wow. That fire is nice and hard. Awesome. Very smooth. Excellent. Yeah, man. So that's what we got 2018 this year from Kershaw. So thanks for your time, guys. Yeah, you did a fantastic job. You know your stuff. And you made it fun. So what is your... What is your year-round job? My year-round job. Kai. I just sleep in my office. I'm just kidding. No, I, I um, I'm one of the designers. So I'm a junior design product designer um, with with Kershaw. Yeah, NZT. Fantastic. Yeah, well, you definitely really know job. your stuff front to back. Thanks, man. And you're fun to hang out with. So thank you very much, and you're much appreciated. Thanks, man. See you guys. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe, and go to utahgunexchange.com for all of your Patriot gear needs. To all those in Second Amendment deprived states, if you're reading this, you are the resistance and we are with you. The nation's patriot marketplace. Buy, sell, trade. UtahGunExchange.com